Hello and welcome all to this series on understanding linear regression. Today I will be explaining you about simple linear regression and I am Vivya Thakur. In simple linear regression you always analyze two variables. The first variable over here I have taken height and weight of a person. So height over here is the independent variable and weight over here is the dependent variable. So how may I explain that? Which means as the height of a person increases, so does his weight. So I'm taking height to be independent. That is height of a person is not dependent on anything. But the weight of that person is dependent on that person's height. So let's analyze uh, the heights and the weights of persons and then predict according to this data then predict for a given height what shall be the weight of that person so let's plot it so my data has been plotted over here which is 122 comma 128 I have taken the independent variable on the x-axis that is heights which is in centimeter and my dependent variable the response variable that I want to check on the y-axis so these are my weights then I've plotted the points so this point over here is 122 from the x-axis from the zeroth of the x-axis and this is 28 and similarly 142 comma 40 and so on till 208 comma 105 now the goal of the regression is to plot a line such that it can predict these data points lying on that line so regression means to find the best fit that is the best relationship between my data points that are plotted on the x-axis and the y-axis respectively so over here I can see that this point of mine, the first one, is not exactly lying on the line. Neither is the second point. The third point is somewhat lying on the line. So is the fourth point and so is the fifth point. So when these kind of data points do not lie exactly on that, on your regression line, then such data points create residuals about which we have learned in my previous video. So go check it out if you guys don't know what residual or error is. Now the way to find out this best fit or the best regression line or the best relationship between my dependent and independent variable is using this formula. y hat equals to theta 0 plus theta 1 x1. Over here theta 0 is my first coefficient. Theta 1 is my second coefficient. So you guys must have seen, so let this be my regression line over here and you only need two points. So let these points be x1 comma y1 over here and x2 comma y2 over here and let this be y intercept. So from these two points, the slope is calculated, which is denoted by M, which is nothing but y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. And uh, the formula for this line over here is given by y equals to mx plus c. So we are doing nothing but replacing the m by theta1 and this c which is the y intercept by theta 0 in terms of statistics and machine learning. So theta 1, my second coefficient, can be calculated by first by uh, multiplying this xi minus x bar. That is every point which is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 over here uh, subtracted by the mean of these x points multiplied with yi minus y bar and taken a mean over by the squared residuals which is xi minus x bar square don't worry if you're not getting this formula because you'll be seeing how i calculated it in the next slide 
and my first coefficient over here which is theta 0 can be calculated by simply subtracting the mean of all my y data points that is the mean of all the weights subtracted from theta 1 multiplied with x bar so from here I have my x bars ready which is nothing but 122 plus 142 till 208 divided by 5 y bars as 28 plus 40 plus 60 and so on till 105 divided by 5 again so this is my mean x bar y bar so we have this quantity over here now what we have to do is from each of these x values that is 122 I'll subtract this 162.6 multiplied with 28 minus 61.6 plus 142 minus 162.6 and so on and I get this quantity this summation of these products as 3985.2 then I calculated this value over here that is the squared residuals of my independent variable so I calculated it as 122 minus 162.6 whole square up till 208 minus 162.6 whole square all summed up so I get the sum as 4371.2 now I calculated my theta 1 as this value 0 0.9117 then I calculated the second coefficient so in terms of machine learning the first coefficient which is m or the slope of the line is also known as weight because it's being multiplied with x and this second coefficient over here which is theta 0 or the y-intercept is also known as bias so the bias is calculated by this formula which is simply y bar minus theta 1 into x bar so this is what we get 86.642 and using this these values and putting it in the equation so my first coefficient was 0 0.9117 my second coefficient is 86.642 in negative so this is the uh, equation of a line so if given that the height of a person is 188 centimeter what shall its weight be so simply I put this value 188 which is the value of X to this equation and I get my result as 84.75 but the data that I have in my table has the weight as 85 kgs the correct label is 85 kgs and my model through this equation predicted it as 84.75 kg just a difference of 0.25 so this is known as loss but it is pretty good it's as close to zero as possible so our model is doing well now we'll see this in an effective manner with lots of data and using python and jupyter notebook so i'll be dividing my data into two parts that is the training data set and the testing data set so i'll take my entire data set and i'll train my model with the 70 percent of training data set available and later test it using the 30 percent data to see how well it is doing what my losses and so on so let's go to Jupyter notebook next I have this heights and weights CSV available to me so the first one is the header height and weight and I have 36 indexes in total that is 35 data points because the first one has been occupied by the header so the first column is composed of all the heights in centimeters and the second one of weights in kgs so I'll, I shall be using this as my data set and splitting up and splitting it up into training and test data set so first step first I have imported these libraries which is matplotlib, numpy, pandas, scikit-learn so from scikit-learn I have imported linear underscore model and from scikit-learn.metrics package I have imported mean squared error in order to evaluate a model so let me run this cell next I have imported the heights weights data set which in my case is height underscore weight dot csv so I've use the pandas 
pd.read.csv and save this in the variable hw. So let me show you the first 10 lines using the head function. So this is our data set and these are the first 10 rows of our data set. So next, uh, I shall also show you the tail, that is the last element. You can also uh, have four or five from the bottom. So let's now see how many rows and how many columns our data set has using the shape attribute. So hw.shape will give me 35 as the number of rows and 2 as the number of columns, which is quite right because this is what we had seen over here. And now the next step is to split the data into training and testing data sets. So what I have done over here is from 0 to 29th index, I'll be storing the heights and the weights from 0 to 29, that is 30 data points of my data sets uh, as training data. So I've taken this hw underscore x underscore train and hw underscore y underscore train and I am passing in the heights and the weights from the index number 0 to index number 29. So Python excludes this ending index but includes this starting index. So 30 data points will be stored over here and 30 data points of weights will be stored in this variable. Next I am also passing in uh, 30 to 34 that is 4 uh, data sets sorry 4 data points into my x test and y test respectively. So I'm grabbing this height from index number 30 to the next number 33, 34 excluded and saving it in x underscore test. So let's see if it has rightly uh, done so. So yes, my test data set consists of 30 till 33 indices of heights and weights respectively. So let's reshape it. So what we are grabbing over here in these variables is a list that has a shape which is column-like. Uh, but scikit-learn uh, has a way of dealing with horizontal uh, data points. So let's reshape it. Otherwise, it will throw an error. So I'm grabbing hw.height from over here and reshaping it and then again storing it in hw x train data set. So basically, I'm using the same uh, variable names and let's see if it has rightly done so so yes this has been converted into an array format so the next step is to create a linear regression model or a linear regression object using the linear underscore model from scikit-learn dot linear regression the function and our model has a variable name of regr now so let me run the cell now let's train our model on the variables hw underscore x underscore train and hw underscore y underscore train. So using the fit function over here on our model. So indeed it has trained it as you can see. Now let's make predictions using the testing data set. So uh, remember that hw underscore y underscore test is available to us which are the true labels but we will see what our model is predicting and storing those predicted values in the variable hw underscore y underscore print so let me run this cell and now let me bring this cell over here okay, so this one so Let's see what our predicted values are and what are the true labels. So this is the predicted values and these are our true labels. So as you all can see, the predicted value is 94.01 kgs, but the true weight is 94.8. And over here, it's 98.8 and the true label is 99.8.
so now let's see in more detail what shall a model predict when we are passing just one value so remember the uh, this uh, remaining value the last label which we hadn't assigned to the training or the testing data set so this one was included so let's see using regr dot predict passing in just one value and reshaping it so I'm getting the weight as 103.39 and let's also see what was the actual value actual value is 104.8 and the predicted value is 103.39 so let's see what are the coefficients and the intercept of our model because we are doing linear regression simple linear regression so it will have some coefficients and it will also have the intercept for the bias value so you can grab these using regr.coef underscore because these are parameters so it's using underscores and intercept underscore this is neither an attribute nor a function the parameters so the coefficient it that it calculates is 0 0.949 and the intercept is minus 94.12 so let's plot it and see how our heights and weights are doing with respect to training uh, with respect to this equation that we are getting so i have this equation over here I have the training data set over here so basically I'm getting the predicted values from this equation and drawing it over here and I have also my heights and weights and I have drawn this using a scatter plot and this as a line so let's see so basically this is a regression line and these are our data points so over here so this is actually the weight which is same for the different height of people so let's evaluate the model using the mean squared error so i'm calculating the mean squared error using the test labels the true test labels and the predicted test the predicted labels that our model predicted on the test data set so the mean squared error is 1.62 and it's good enough so the teacher in our previous video was having a mean square error of 2 here it's 1.62 it's doing well so this is how a linear regression model using just bivariate analysis can be created and i'll be leaving a link in the description to this code and you can go and check it out from there please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please give it a like and also comment and uh, Keep watching. Thank you.